Welcome back to another video. It is August 16th and we've got a different video set up for you today because we got a new La Nina update from the Climate Prediction Center. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about hurricanes and then Hurricane Aaron real quick. Now the first thing to talk about is the global forecast system model is predicting a pretty large hurricane to hit Texas and Louisiana. I have to come out with a disclaimer that hurricanes are notoriously difficult to predict and therefore this is not accurate. We should wait until the National Hurricane Center says that there might be a chance they issue outlooks m more than once daily, I think like five times daily. So they're very much updating so we should wait for them to send out an update before we panic. And then on to Hurricane Aaron. The only thing I have to say really is it's turning away. We will not be affected by its low pressure, which usually would bring rain, wind. Now on to the real reason we have this video, the preliminary La Nina forecast. The Climate Prediction Center has issued a 56% chance of Enzo Neutral, which Enzo stands for El Nino Southern Oscillation. That is El Nino La Nina. It's not going to be either between now and October. The Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO, is at a deep negative, at negative 4.0. The Indian Ocean Dipple, or IOD, is moderately negative at about minus 0.84 degrees Celsius. Now, this La Nina is expected to be short-lived from September, as early as then, I should say, through January. The Climate Prediction Center and International Research Institute for Climate and Society are leaning that way with the North American multi-model ensemble being stronger on that. And it would likely revert back to neutral by mid-winter 2026. Now these are estimates and predictions. These are as of our latest data, so we can't, you know, go out and say this is exactly, that's why it's preliminary. Then the PDO, with this negative, it would favor a western trough or low pressure. We've talked about that. We've also talked about the eastern ridge and high pressure. Now that would be a western trough and eastern ridge pattern with active storm tracks through the Midwest. And the IOD would enhance rainfall over Indonesia and Australia, but would likely tend to, and it tends to, reinforce the La Nina-like patterns, nudging the jet stream a little more northward. Word. Now September through November outlook, of course this is preliminary, it always changes. Each month we'll be making a video of this instead of our normal forecast. And so, into, getting into it, warmer and stormier possible. The temperature is expected to be near to slightly above normal. Warmer September and October, and then we'd cool off in late November, with precipitation being above normal west of Chicago, so Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin. Due to strong frontal activity, Chicago would likely remain about normal. Severe weather, September, it could be an active transition month with an enhanced risk of wind-producing quasi-linear convective systems, which are just lines of storms, and a few tornadoes. October, there's a higher chance of stronger cold front events with wind damage, maybe an isolated tornado outbreak, the analogs or years being similar to, being October 2013 and 17. November, storms would slow down, but we could see a last gasp squall line ahead of the true Arctic surge, and that would just be a squall line before that. Best way to describe it. Our winter outlook, December of this year until February of next year. It is preliminary, just like the last one. December, we would see near to slightly below average temperatures, if early La Nina cold shots. January, we could see potentially mild if the La Nina would fade quickly, but it would be more volatile, so we'd have warm and cold swings. February, colder risks would return if blocking develops. The negative PDOs tend to favor this. Now, snowfall would not be a blockbuster signal. No strong multi-season La Nina to keep the cold in. But there would be an opportunity for several mid-latitude snowstorms. Chicago, Milwaukee, just Des Moines, Des Moines, the preliminary snowfall call would be near normal, about 35 to 40 inches in Chicago, and whatever 
Des Moines, we couldn't find all that information. I kind of just threw this together. We'd seen your normal. With heavier snowfall, more likely upper Midwest, Northern Plains, so Minnesota and the Dakotas. Finally, we have very loose first snow estimates. We can't guarantee this accuracy. These first snowfall is very difficult to predict. This is using analogs of short-lived La Nina years, analogs being what happened with similar conditions with negative PDOs, which would be 2000, 2005, and 2017. The Chicago Metro, why did I say it like that? The Chicago Metro could see our first snowfall between November 18th and December 2nd. Northern Illinois and the southern Wisconsin, so like Madison and Milwaukee, you could see it as early as November 10th and as late as November 25th. Des Moines and central Iowa, possibly a late October coating, but the first measurable would be in mid-November. So Chicago, you will not see snow on Halloween like we have multiple times in the past. Severe weather-wise, we've experienced severe weather during winter months. It's possible that we might see some. It would depend heavily on how the storm tracks would line up with Gulf moisture. The Pacific jet remains active into late fall and winter, and then we could see a few out-of-season severe weather days. However, that does not mean we will. Please consider subscribing because each month we will send you, well, we won't send you, we post them to YouTube. We post these videos now about La Nina, El Nino. We do weekly forecasts when we're not doing that. Sometimes we do Myth Mondays, Severe Weather Sunday, Tips Tuesdays. And we do a lot. We do live streams. So please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing it, and thank you for watching until the end.